so many of us got our start in teaching online in companies like VIP Kid, Landy, Palfish, all those big Chinese companies. Let me know in the comments, was that you? Where did you start? We were spoiled. Not only did we have slides to follow with curriculum, but these slides had games and songs and fun activities. Today, I'm going to show you a curriculum option that has all of that stuff. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jillian from JillianShanahan.com. If you are new here, I have two videos that come out every week. One that deals with like working for a company if you're not completely comfortable going independent, and another one that talks about something related to going independent, whether it be marketing, uh, getting students, tools that you can use, like today's video, curriculum that you can use in your classroom. So if you aren't already subscribed yet, make sure you click subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss my future videos. Today I am super psyched to show you a curriculum option that has a lot of the same things that you were used to if you were teaching with VIP Kid. So I would like to welcome John from Flip the Classroom. So I started Flip the Classroom after kind of messing around with some other people's curriculums and after of course, you know, the big layoff from teaching in China. I'm not sure if you were included in that. And I found a lot of them kind of lacked what I wanted. I wanted more visual things, things to keep the students a little more entertained during class. And so... So like I, what were you used to with like Palfish or VIP yeah, Kid with the clips of that do this, right? Yeah, exactly. So I used to work for right, right. Landy English and VIP Kid. And okay. yeah, and so I tried to take a little bit of both from what I liked from both of their curriculums and make it my own, I guess. So Flip the Classroom is an online curriculum that you can use for Zoom or Classin or my, my personal favorite is Koala Go right now. I've just switched over to them. And depending on whichever platform you want to use, it's basically everything all in one that you need. So when you go through the slides, you have your vocabulary, your verbs, you have little games included with it. I always try and include a video at the start of class as well. Sometimes there's an extra video at the end, depending on if you have extra time. And basically it's a subscription service. So you pay $16 a month and that gives you access to all the lessons I've completed so far. It's still a work in progress. I have currently about 116 lessons and I have them from levels two to level five. And of course the question is, why don't I have level one? I do want to try and start that soon. Once I free up a little more time, I should be able to start level one. I don't have any placement tests yet, but I do have tests throughout the units, which I would do a test with each one and just see where they could fit. Uh, my focus is of course on visuals. So I really like to have all the characters and everything in my lessons to be a little animated. And so I have fun little cartoon characters for the younger students and lower levels. And then as you go up in the levels, they tend to get a little more mid-age students, I guess. So, you know, maybe around 10 and 12. I do plan on eventually adding in more levels, like I said, level one, and then going above level five as well as I finish up these lower units and levels. The, I would say for levels two and three, those are a little more aimed towards younger students because I do have the characters in them, like little cartoon characters. And the lessons or levels four and five tend to be a little more for some older students that don't maybe need these little cartoon characters as much. The main reason why I recommend it is because they have a shared cursor. Like, so kids that are on tablets, even as well, that's one of the big issues with class and, and with Zoom. Kids on tablets, they can't use the cursor to do certain things like clicking, drag and drop. And with Koala Go, you can right. do all these things. And there, and your your curriculum actually has interactive games, so that exactly. something like Koala Go is really good for it, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. very so cool. I, all right. I try and include all these like drag and drop activities. We'll right. show you just going through the website how to basically access the lessons once you remember. I am a independent company, I guess you should say. So I'm making everything. I made the website, all that. So. It still has some kinks that, you know, need to be worked out, but I'm working on everything. Uh, so this is the home screen here. So if you scroll down, you can find out what makes Flip the Classroom great for your students and why teachers are loving it. Uh, we have a great Facebook community that's quickly growing, over 840-something subscribers now uh, in our Facebook group. 
So if you want to check out some lessons, you can just go to free lessons here, or if you click up top. And right in here, I have a whole bunch of the, basically the first lesson of each unit. So right now, as I said, I have levels two, three, four, and five. So if you click on one of these, it will bring you to the menu here. And I apologize if my computer's a little slow, I'm in the basement right now. So for unit two, or level two, sorry, I have three units so far. I'm still working on unit three here. But if you click on two lessons, this will now open up and show you all the lessons that I have available for that particular unit. I have right here just a little screen kind of viewing embedded videos of the lessons that you can quickly go through, see if this is the one that you want to use or not. I go through oh, a little bit of them. Yeah, so these are the characters I was talking about here. This is Otis Owl and Dilly Duck. So here I have Katie Cat and I have Rocky the Robot Dog. Still going back and adding in flashcards for all the lessons. So if you click on here, you'll see all the different flashcards that I have. You can print them up. You can share them with your students if you'd like or with your parents. And as I said, you have a little view here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to, since you like the characters so much, I'm going to go to another unit. I'm going to go to level three, unit five. Aww, thank you. I, I do. I think the characters <laughs> are adorable. All right. So this unit is all about animal classes. And so this one is, I typically break it up just like the IP kid and Landy would do. First half is about a specific thing. And then the second half is about a different thing. But it overall covers a core idea. I have the home screen here where you can quickly jump around to the different topics that are going to be covered in the day. If you click up top here, this will bring you to the final slide, which is a drawing slide. So first, uh, since this is the beginning of a new, new unit, it introduces the new characters if they're new. So welcome to Unit 5. My name is Leo Lyon, and I am Ernie Elephant. Today we are in the jungle. Let's learn about mammals. And so I try and have, of course, a little video that ties in with the lesson. You can play as much or as little as you want. So I could draw a whole bunch on the screen, close it, talk a bit more, open it, and it's back. So moving on, as I said, I try and use GIFs a lot to just kind of keep the student engaged a little more. It helps with that a lot, I find. Sometimes try and add little funny things that they might enjoy, get a kick out of. It's hey! always fun. Lion's like me, he's wearing a wig. <laughs> wearing a nice wig, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so going through after vocabulary, the we cover the words I typically will have, especially the younger units, a little drag and drop activity. What is a mammal? We go through this here. A mammal has two lungs. A mammal has fur or hair. A baby mammal drinks milk. These then, are cute. These are these are very much like what we did with like VIP kid or palfish or I'm very much like it. Yeah, I try to, like I said, try and use a really high quality graphics to just make it look like really polished. And I know that's one of the things with, if you're just using standard slides, you, know, you can teach of course, just fine with that, but it's maybe not as engaging for the students. And I find when you use something like this, it just makes you look very professional. Like, Sometimes I'll have things where you can click actually things. So this is the symbol for clicking. So which mammal is not the same? I'm going to click on this one. Oh no, that was wrong. So no, the rhinos are the same. Click that to go back. You can try again. Moving on to prepositions. It walks to the park from, it walks to the park from home. And now over to short you practice, hut, cut, sub, cub, and then sight words. And at the end here, we have goodbye your game. So this is the goodbye slide here. You can choose to play a little goodbye song if you click here. Or up. That's cute. And you can play they, a little they, goodbye they can song. Get the choice there. Yeah, exactly. And you as a teacher too, you know, we're our own uh, bosses now, all of us. So this just gives us dog here gives us an opportunity to choose to okay i'm going to i have this other lesson or activity planned for the end of class you're welcome mm -hmm. to do that you know you can choose what to do what is the game so if we go to game time i have typically options for the students or for the teacher so of course tic-tac-toe is always a classic one an animal race connect four and kind of a simple snakes and ladders 
Uh, which this one would you like so to? Cute. I love it. In the comments, let us know which one you want to see. And <laughs> while we're doing that, we have a Facebook comment that you can answer, okay? FTC is very engaging. Does it work optimally? Oh. Cool go, classic, or both. Can work on all of them, honestly. I I was teaching on Zoom myself, and Zoom isn't the most uh, teacher student friendly platform to use. So if it works on well on those on Zoom, it can work well on everything else. <laughs> All right, it's a English classic. <laughs> yeah, it's when your toes are really little, like tic tacs. What I also do as well. So if you join our Facebook group, Flip the Classroom, um, every month I do a lucky draw for twenty dollar for an Amazon twenty dollar gift card. If you see a mistake and you let me know about it, and it's a valid mistake, of course, then I'll fix it up and put your name into the lucky draw. So it's just a good way for me to have some extra eyes on things here. Roll the die. Oh, there we go. Computer's going a little slow here since I'm in the basement. So three, one, two, three. And there's nothing there. If you wanted, you could move things around, of course, too. If you want only have a certain amount of time, move a bunch of the stars down here. Um, these ones typically roll again. And it's really just kind of up to you how you want to use this as a teaching opportunity. So uh, this is snakes and letters, very sim similar. Oh. Answer questions and roll again. And they can just collect stars as well if they go. Uh, so this question, can students use an iPad? So that's why I do love Koala Go over the other ones options right now is because they try and focus on students that have iPads. So they can actually do the dragging and dropping activities. Other platforms, as far as I know, they can't do that just yet. Of course, if you are choosing to use other platforms, I know a lot of people love Classin and they just don't want to switch over and that's completely fine. The lessons still work great. You can, like I said, use that as an opportunity to extend on what you're teaching. To open up this lesson, so oh, again, warm up video, you can play that. You can open this here to open it in a different window. I try to have it start at specific spots as well. Going through, what is a land animal? And you can go through this and have the students read it. Um, a lot of these higher units, level four, level five, I include stories that I have custom written for the lessons. This one here, sorry, I actually got this one from a YouTube video. So I include the YouTube video. It starts off right where it is, and you can just stop it and then continue the story. So going through here. So this one's from Pink Fong. I love their videos. They're great for students. And so you play this till 101, and then you'd continue on. So this one goes through that whole story. I think it's the first two or three lessons that have the story. I always have little reader questions for the student after. And then moving on to the core things that you're learning about cause and effect here. Another little video for them. Try and include, as I said, many gifts. It just helps with the student retention. They're depending on how you know quick your student is going through the material. Uh, if you had send the, sent them the preview link before and they had gone through it before class, they tend to go through it a lot faster. You could probably easily get through it within 20 minutes. Now I try and have enough material and extra things like an extra video at the end where if you do have a class that is 45 minutes or an hour long, that you have enough stuff to do that if you are adding in your own extensions, I guess. And of course, it's all dependent on the student as well. And I try and upload two new lessons each week. I try, but of course, you know, just really busy. It's, it's more like maybe I'm getting one new one at least each week for each unit or each level. They're nice. They're nice. I like them. How many, how many, um, how many lessons are in a unit? So depending on the unit, uh, the lower units will have a hundred is what I'm thinking. Some of them debating or depending on the material that's being covered. If I think it needs a little more time, I may include some extra lessons in that unit, but overall, uh, each level will have 100. Sorry. Oh, sorry. No, 100. not uh, lessons. 100 lessons in a unit, 100 lessons in a level. 
If you are already using Flip the Classroom, let me know in the comments what do you think of it. Or if you sat through this whole entire video, <laughs> What do you think of it after you've seen the video? Is this something that you would like? What do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? I want to hear what you guys think. And this video was taken from a longer live that we did in our Facebook group. If you are not already in our Facebook group, please feel free to join. It's the online ESL teacher success and support group on Facebook and the link is in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you all in the next video.